hello how are you doing all today I hope you're all fine today we are going to write a program I've been presented with this problem it was related to lottery it's elementary type of programming not that difficult we will be using if else statements for this like here we have the condition for this like if the user input matches the lottery number in the exact order the award is ten thousand dollar we are gonna make the lottery program basically and that and that will give us the result based on some certain conditions the first condition is this like if the user input matches the exact digit then we are going to get 10,000 if all the digits in the user input matches all the digits in the lottery number then we are going to win $3,000 and if one digit in the user input matches a digit in the lottery number then the award is 1000 now the last this uh, statement is is kind of trickier one because we have to look for the number in in my country we call it as a unit 10 then 100,000 10,000 like this maybe in your country score starting with the numbers then tens then uh, you know hundred that's a, it's a number system that we will be looking for okay so let's uh, try to solve this program we are going to generate the random numbers and uh, we, let's generate the random number up to two digits because it will be easy to uh, guess and make it work with say lottery is equal to int math dot random times 100 that is going to generate the random number between 0 and 99 right and let's say if it generated for now what we are doing is maybe this will generate a single digit number as well like maybe from 0 to 9 let's suppose it's generated 8 so we will treat it as a 0 8 because we are going to deal with the two digit number okay so for now I'm, uh, I'm not writing that logic in here but just we for the sake of understanding I'm saying like we will treat it like this uh, like 0 8 instead of just an 8 all right now then we have to ask the user to you know right give us its input to take the input from the user we use scanner so call it as user input is equal to new scanner system dot in all right then we will ask the user to please enter your lucky number for lottery so user will enter its guess guess will be of integer type then we got user input dot next int all right and yeah after that what we have to do is we need to extract the lottery digit numbers and also we need to extract the um, guess digits that the user has entered we have to extract it up to two decimal points like two digits so let's do in this way for we are we are we will get the get lottery digits so that will come up int lottery digit number one is equal to we will get the lottery divided by 10 all right now the second digit is the remainder of what is left so we will just extract the number numbers and lottery digit number two is equal to lottery mod 10 that will give us the remainder number and we will just just like this we extracted the two digits from the user input now we have to look for the system input sorry this is because it's being generated by the system now we have to extract the user numbers so we call it as guess digit number one is equal to guess divided by 10 and then we got int guess digit number two is equal to guess mod 10 all right 
Now it's time for checking the conditions. If the user input matches the lot number in the exact order, that will be if the guest guess of the number user matches the lottery number then we will print out the message you won ten thousand dollars all right else if the second condition tells us if all the digits in the user input matches all the digits in the lottery number like in that case the award will be in 3000 okay so we are going to write the logic like this um, else if guess digit number one is equal equal to lottery digit number two and guess digit number two is equal equal to lottery digit number one in this case the award will be Three thousand dollars. Okay, you won three thousand dollars. Three not point. It's three. This one. Okay. Now the last condition: if one of the digit matches the lottery number, all right, then the award will be one thousand. So for that case, we will come up else if again. Guess digit number one is equal equal to lottery digit number two or guess digit number one is equal equal to lottery digit number one right let's just go to the next line or guess digit number two is equal equal to lottery digit number one or we will say guess digit number one is equal equal to lottery digit number two that's basically sp specifying to us like um, if all of these conditions are basically matching with that all right so here i guess there is a problem here subsequent covered by subsequent condition okay guess digit one lottery digit one or guess digit number one it say it is always false why it is always false oh because i am already using that sorry so guess digit number one guess digit number one two here i will say guess digit number two okay so then in that case how much he is going to win he is going to win one thousand dollar you won one thousand usds now if none of the condition matches or let's say user entered the number that does not even matches any of the lottery number that is being generated by the compiler then we will say better luck next time okay simple program let's execute it and see what we are going to get let me just execute it and one two three okay it's taking a while maybe five five seconds yes okay great so i'm going to enter the number let's say 75 okay i want 1000 okay let's display the lottery number as well so we can exactly match the lottery number that is being generated by the compiler all right so after user input the lottery number is lottery this one now let's run it mm, 58 okay it's 96 so better look next time 85 it's 2 okay then we can say 74 it is 9 then i got 96 36 okay one of the digit matches so i got $1000 38 is 74 is like this so yeah that's basically the it's testing is up to you like you can test it as much as you can 
So I hope you understand this logic and if you do then please like or share the video with your friends. It will be a great help. Thanks and see you soon. Take care and have a great day ahead. Bye bye.